is up guys, everyone, welcome back to Let's Play More Platinum Randomizer. Uh, yeah, the last episode we, uh, <coughs> oh man, dude. yeah, we, uh, cleared out Team Galactic and everything, uh, here at the, uh, yeah, Valley Windworks. And so now, uh, it has been, you know, a little, uh, about six hours or so, and as you see, this tree is shaking, and I put honey on all the trees in the area, so, without further ado, let's, uh, go around, and let's see what's on the honey trees. Instead of purple, we have, wait, oh, oh Burmy. Uh, I think you can normally find Burmy on the, uh, trees. Well, anyway, this thing's probably gonna use protect, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll just try to whittle it down, and if we get it low enough, we'll try to catch it. So, oh, uh-oh. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Oh, wow, this thing's also level 15. <laughs> Higher than my, uh, titration right now, so that's interesting. Alright, so, yeah, and, uh, also, we'll, uh, I did, uh, go ahead and, yeah, since I was gonna do the, uh, the honey tree thing anyway, I went ahead and put a few, uh, planted a few berries as well. So we'll take care of those. We'll, you know, water them or uh, pluck them if they're ready to be uh, harvested. So, anyway, we'll get Flop and Flop in here. Use a little sleep, and, uh, yeah. That's interesting. I guess it is a randomizer, so there is a random chance we could run into, uh, you know, one of the normal honey tree Pokemon anyway. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll switch back to Dark Lotion. Just in case I need to put this thing back to sleep again. Alright, and we'll try a Pokeball. Normally this thing's catch rate is pretty low, you know, since it's a normal honey tree Pokemon. But uh yeah, here we go. Pokeball, go. Alright. And a one. And I got a two. Can I get a three? Yes. Alright, there we go. First catch of the episode. Alright. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's still a bug type. For me, the backward Pokemon, even if it is born with where there are no cocooning materials, it somehow always ends up with a cloak. Ah, okay. So, there you go. Um, I'm not gonna nickname it, actually, because it's got, uh, the same type, like it normally does. Slathered with the bark with honey. Uh, no, no, no. Because I don't think I'll play in another six hours. Uh, anyway, let's go over here. Uh, oh, right, right, right. I just watered these right here. Um, you know, maybe I should go back and heal my, uh... Mainly, I need to heal Slugma, my sleeper. Resident sleeper. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's go here. And yeah, for the rest of the episode, as I said, guys, at the end of uh, the uh, Galactic uh, Valley Windworks episode, yeah, we're basically just gonna, uh, uh, you know, check. We've got like three or four areas to check for Pokemon, so we're basically gonna go on another Pokemon catching safari, so yeah, because. Lots of new areas. Uh, who knows what Pokemon are out here? So there we go. We're at the Windworks, and okay, yeah, there is a uh, honey tree Pokemon here. So let's see what's here. We have oh, Burmy again. Well, pretty low odds uh, to get the same, you know, Pokemon from a honey tree, but uh, eh, no, I, I guess we'll just KO this one. I guess. <laughs> Well, it makes sense why uh, fire is super effective, too, because uh, it, it, it still has the same type. It's bug type, so... Alright. Alright. It does make me wonder, though, uh, you know, as far as this randomizer goes, uh, what type would Burmy be if I evolved it? That's an interesting thought. Ooh, plus twos and threes. Oh, quick attack. Sure, sure, we'll take that. Pretty sure we still have tackle on Dark Lotion. Yes, we do. So, yeah, replace tackle. May keep a uh, smoke screen. Maybe situational, so. All right, so there we go. Slather the bark with honey. Damn, damn. Uh, also, let me check back in here. Like, once, uh, yeah, the galactic stuff's done, uh, there may be some people here. No, no, no. I think, I think I'm thinking of a different building. Um, some of these guys, anyway. We didn't really get a reward for saving them, so... Uh, reduce energy from nature itself. It's quite wonderful. Uh, huh. Okay, okay. So, I may be thinking of a different hideout. Uh, uh, Team Galactic event. But I think in one, like, once you defeat it, if you, you know, leave and come back, you do get a some kind of reward or item or something. Or there's, like, someone important to talk to. 
Uh, anyway, there's one more honey tree, so definitely want to get those before time's out. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and water this. There you go. Uh, also, it, it may be a different day, because I'm recording this around midnight, so let's talk to this girl. Uh, yeah, so we get a free cherry berry. Nice. Okay. Alright, we'll head back out. And I'll water this pigeon. Alright. There we go. And so let's head to the last honey tree location up here. And let's see if it's a Burmy, you know, the trifecta for Burmy. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's not shaking. Oh, wait. Oh, it, it has a Pokemon, but it wasn't shaking. Okay. Oh, Combi. Okay. Well, yeah, once again, that's a normal honey tree Pokemon. So, interesting. So, did the, uh, did the honey tree Pokemon not get randomized? I, it appears so. Like, I don't know. Maybe the randomizer can't handle uh, randomizing honey tree Pokemon, or <laughs> either that. Yeah, because there's no way that we would get lucky enough to have both uh, Combi and, uh, and uh, you know, oh, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, because I kind of want to see what type this thing is, but yeah, there's no way we would get lucky enough to have both uh, Burmy and Combi, right? Oh man, and it's a male Combi too, so this thing can't even evolve, but, uh, yeah, we will catch it just to see, you know, what ability it's got. <laughs> oh man, poor male combi. Alright, sweet six. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the honey, uh, tree Pokemon are randomized, which is interesting, because, uh, if that's the case, that does give us access to, like, potentially Heracross, or, uh, Munchlax, so... So, here we go. Okay. Oh, Steel Normal. Wow, that's a lot better than its normal type. Combi, the tiny bee Pokemon. The trio is together from Earth. It constantly gathers honey from flowers to please Aspen Queen. Alright. <laughs> uh, so, it's a Steel Bee. So, um, we're gonna name you... Uh, probably just what I said. Uh... uh Steel B. Yeah, because I can't really think of a Steel B. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can. Um, no, 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 no. We'll just, I was, I was just about to name it like, uh, the Ant-Man. <laughs> kind of like, uh, the Avengers, but, you know, I know it's a bug, but, uh, Ant-Man, well, I guess Ant-Man can fly, but, uh, <laughs> uh, Steak B. Yeah. Steel, uh, Oh, and I put two A's in it. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, that is interesting. Wow, a Steel Normal Vespa Queen. That seems like it would be pretty strong. Well, if it still had Anger Point for its ability. <laughs> which uh, boosts its attack all the way up if it's critted, which very interesting ability, by the way. Anyway, now that we're here at the Pokemon Center, let's check out the two new Honey Tree Pokemon we caught. Uh, just to see their abilities and stuff, see if they're holding any items. Oh, here they are. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, plus. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, we can pair this with Houndour, guys, because it has minus. Stall. This Pokemon moves after even slower fo fo foes. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, it is holding a Sky Plate, though, which, uh, uh, yeah, we'll take that. It does boost the power of, uh, uh flying moves, so... Sweet. All right, well, with that, let's uh, head on out. Okay, and I think I will take, uh, actually, and since we are going to be catching some Pokemon, I think I will take uh, Paris with me. So, just to scout out uh, abilities and stuff if I want to. Uh, who's high level? I think. What level are you? Yeah, 14 more Pokemon? Okay, you can go down here with uh, Don Crow, who's level 18. All right. Okay, and let's go ahead and heal again. I think what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I am curious if there's other Pokemon that we can get through the trees, uh, uh, in Honey Tree Encounters, so I think what I'll do is, uh, for my next recording session of Platinum, you know, right before I'll, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I will, you know, put some, uh, honey on some more trees, and we'll, we'll check them out, but, uh, anyway, let's check them out. Uh, ooh, Altaria, wow, hmm. 
is here, but uh, I doubt they can catch you, man, because, uh, yeah, Algeria, hmm, yeah, it's evolved from Swablu, like, normally by the time you find Swablu in, like, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, uh, you have, ooh, we burned it, okay, yeah, normally you have, uh, like, Great Balls by the time you get access to, uh, uh, what's that town before Meteor Falls, it's, uh, It's got, you know what I mean, it's got the soot, and it's got, uh, well, I guess we'll try one Pokeball, uh, because either way, it's gonna be Kale from Burn, but, uh, I, I, I think that we'll catch this thing, but, you know, yeah, 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 I didn't think so, didn't think so, alright, Astonish, uh, good to know this is here, though, I definitely did not know, so, yeah, pretty cool Pokemon, normally it's Dragon Flying, and, uh, yeah, Winona actually has one, and the, uh, the sixth gym in, uh, yeah, in Gen 3, so. Wait, is it the sixth gym? Yeah, yeah, because Norman's the, uh, oh, Radicate! Yeah, Norman's the, uh, the fifth gym, right, 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 so. Alright, well, this should be a pretty easy catch. If we can get it in the red. Fight. Okay, yeah, that's not very effective. Because I'm a dark type myself, here we go. Oh, we burned it. Man, it's our... Jeez, Dark Lotion. Calm down, brother. Calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a girl, sister. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I guess we'll just use smoke screen. Yeah, I'll just wait one turn for the burn damage, and we'll, uh, we'll ball it. Focus energy. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. That should be low enough, so... Yeah, Raticate's got a pretty low catch rate. Okay, ball. Go. All right. And one... The mouse Pokemon. It whittles its constantly growing fangs by gnawing on hard things. It can chew apart cinder balls. <laughs> Man, what a great type. So, uh, we're gonna name you, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I've got it. You know how, you know, usually it, it's called Dragon, but I'm gonna call it, uh, Dratikate. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Dratini. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Dratikate. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, what a good type, though. Steel Dragon. Wow, yeah, not too many weaknesses. Are there any weaknesses? Um, uh, let's see. Well, I guess it's weak to ground. Fighting. Yeah, ground and fighting. Uh, it would resist ice and dragon, though, right? I think so, so. Pretty interesting. Wow. <laughs> We might actually use Raticate. <laughs> well, I'll check its ability and stuff, but yeah. Especially if it has, like, an attack boosting ability, that's... Yeah, Steel Dragon is nothing to scoff at. That's, that's a boss type. Hmm. Alright, Dark Lotion. Gonna need you to wake up, buddy. Alright, well, I guess we got lucky this thing didn't put us to sleep last time, but uh, that is a good move, so... Oh man, Dark Lotion, you're snoozing on the jab, buddy. <laughs> you keep snoozing, I'm out to give you a pay cut, buddy. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? It's kind of weird. You know how Altaria and uh, Swablu, they're basically, they're, uh, their wings are made of, like, clouds? But it always looked like, uh, you know, like, almost like, you know, the stuffing and pillows to me. Like a down or whatever it's called. So... <laughs> As a kid, I always thought that, you know, they should have an ability, uh, you know, much like Marie, you know, you know, yeah, because it's got the fluffy hole, because it, it looks similar. I always thought they should have an ability to where, like, I don't know, something gets boosted, but they're like, the uh, fire types are super effective against them, you know, even though they aren't normally super effective, just the fact that they, <laughs> that they have, like, wool or stuff that looks like, oh my god, Agron. Yeah, I felt like that they should have an ability that, uh, <laughs> Makes them get torched by fire, you know. I, I don't know. Anyone else? Anyone else? Just be well. Okay, not necessarily Altaria because oh my God, I burn again. Jesus, dark lotion. Jesus. Um, but uh, yeah, you know. Um, I guess we'll go with quick attack. Uh, yeah, not necessarily Altaria because I understand that it has like clouds for wings. But Marie, I mean, come on. And wool. I mean, I mean, second opinion, guys. Wool is like really, really, really highly flammable. So. You know, wouldn't it make sense for it to have, like, you know, uh, an ability like soft wool, 
you know, to where, you know, it takes half damage from physical attacks, which, like, whoa, oh, we caught it. But, you know, it's super affected by fire. Ah, see, see? I, that's a creative ability. Hmm. Anyway. Egg Rock, the Iron Armor Pokemon. While seeking iron for food, it digs tunnels by breaking through bedrock with its steel horns. Wow. Alright. And we'll nickname it. Uh, this is normally the type of, uh, uh, oh man, I can't think of it. It's, uh, the ground flying, uh, Gligar, Gligar, and Gliscor. So, yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna name it, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Still ground type, which well, no wait, that doesn't have stab, does it? But we'll name it Glygron. <laughs> nice. Oh man, Agron always had the potential, and now he learned how to fly. But I, Agron was always a fly Pokemon. Eh, eh, and all right, guys. All right, and we are close to the center, so might as well heal Dark Lotion, and we'll take a look at some of the uh, abilities and stuff, items they're holding. So let's take a look. Alright, here we go. Okay, so here's Raticate, or Dradicate. Okay, no items, Rain Dish. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that's honestly, that can be a good ability, yeah. If you got someone with, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, Kyogre's ability, uh, not Drought, but, uh, What's the opposite of Kyogre's? Dry skin, wow. Okay, dry skin with, um, hmm. So dry skin, ooh, that's actually really good. Cause dry skin uh, res uh, absorbs water and eliminates one of its weaknesses cause it's ground flying. Ooh, what moves you got, Agron? Um, yeah, not too good on the move. Well, not yet. I guess you do get stabbed from Mud Slap, so there's that. Uh, you know what? We might actually end up using uh, uh, Agron here. Because, you see, it's quad weak to ice. Yeah, but uh, I guess it's also... But you eliminate the water weakness. You eliminate the weakness to grass because you're part flying. Um, you eliminate the thunder weakness because you're part ground. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. You know what? We will consider using, uh, Agron. Yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. If we can teach it stab ground moves, it has a high attack stat. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm surprised we caught that at all since it's fully evolved, but, uh, yeah, it definitely might be, uh... Yeah, let's save to that. That's, yeah, ground flying. Any other weaknesses of ground flying I'm not thinking of? Uh, well, flying's weak to rock. Doesn't ground resist rock? Uh, flying's also weak to ice. Flying's weak to thunder, which I've already gone over. Ground's weak to ice, water, and grass. So yeah, not really too many weaknesses. Really just the quad weakness to ice. And thanks to dry skin, uh, yeah, it doesn't have nearly as many weaknesses as it normally would. Wow, that's interesting. Um, oh, I guess we'll keep looking down here. Uh, yeah, steal all chariot. Okay, if this thing puts me to sleep, I will just run away uh, this time. So, anyway. Yep, pretty good Pokemon down here. A lot of, uh, oh, oh dude, dude, Dark Lotion. Dude, look, what is going on? What is going on? Like, the burn? Okay, like, normally I'd never get this lucky with burn. Like, uh, uh, oh my god, it almost has like a, like a 75% burn, uh, you know, maybe all Chariot does have that hidden ability I was talking about, that, uh, you know, burns it on contact. Oh, you just, you had to go down with the bag, didn't you, all Chariot? I mean, but jeez, that is, uh, that is insanely lucky. Okay. Wow, Dark Lotion, wow. Wow. Good job, girl. My goodness. Well, we are right next to the Pokemon Center, so I might as well, you know, not waste an awakening in a hail. Um, man. Jeez. It is crazy how lucky I'm getting with Burn. Guess I'll title this episode, you know, ha, better have Burn Heal or something, you know. <laughs> better have Burn Heal against Typhlosion. <laughs> I love Blaine in the anime. His voice is just so funny. 
Hey, I choose Magmar. <laughs> Let's see, so this is a steel dragon. I guess Ember's, you know, best move we got. Uh, we might have a fighting move. Yeah, we have, like, low kick with the, with the ice environment, but uh, I kind of don't want to switch out. So, plus we resist uh, bite, so there's that. Oh, man, can't believe this thing is steel dragon. <laughs> and, it, and it has a rain dish. That, that, that's just so funny. That's so funny. All right, level 15. Nice. All right, we should be getting Flame Whale here pretty soon. Okay. But I'll probably keep Ember, because Ember's a more cokey cokey. All right, it's Kingler, okay. Well, we already have uh, a Krabby, right? So, yeah. I don't know if I'll catch this thing, but, uh, well, I, the answer's that. Dark Lotion, calm down, girl, calm down. Man, she's getting crits, she's getting burned, she's just... She's on fire, literally. Because normally she's a fire type. <laughs> Ooh, that could be an interesting Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, crit. Another crit. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Let's use Ember. Please don't burn. Because I want to put this thing to sleep. Okay. It is going to confuse itself, so I'm going to leave uh, Gyarados with a little bit of health here, and we'll go for, oops, uh, Flava Flav. Okay, yeah, it is going to confuse itself, so, okay, one more hit of Thrash. Ooh, man, that was powerful. Okay, um, honestly, I'm not sure if I'll get the sleep off, but we'll try. Uh, oh, no, 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 okay. It didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Okay, but we'll definitely get Flava Flop out of here. Uh, maybe I should try a ball right now, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Pokeball, go! We do have one Ultra, so I might be willing to try it. Two, three, yes! Okay, sweet. All right, guys, and we caught Gyarados, which I'm very interested in. It's only electric, wow! Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. Once it begins to rampage, a Gyarados will burn everything down, even at a harsh storm. Okay, wow. So we're just gonna name you, uh... Oh, you know what, this name is... <laughs> this is a hilarious name. But it kind of fits uh, due to Gyarados' name. We're gonna name you... Zapdos! <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. All right. Well, I guess we'll check on Zapdos. Uh, man, that is a really good type. Because, you know, normally Gyarados is quad affected by electricity, but due to it being electric type, the only weakness it has is ground type. So, man, unless the thing has a really bad ability, I, I can see us using it because that's, that is pretty good. Imagine if it has Levitate, oh my god. I mean, it probably doesn't, but, uh, okay, no items. Okay, what ability you got, Gyarados? Brave. Uh, Klutz, huh. Well, that's, you know, not too good of a an ability, but your type is pretty good. Yeah, and look at that attack stat, 29, compared to, uh, some of my others. Yeah, 24. It's, it's got, you know, basically the same attack as, uh, Torterra. Uh, yeah, even higher than, uh, Sharyan, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, Gyarados has got an insanely good attack stat. Um, yeah, I don't know, we may use this one, I don't know. I'll take a look between episodes as far as its nature and stuff, and I guess we could look for a better ability than Klutz as well, but, uh, yeah, honestly, we might go for that one. Um, yep, yeah, pretty good Pokemon to be had down here, but we have ran into quite a variety, so let's, uh, let's save, and let's go toward the, uh, I think I'll look at the Valley Windworks next. We'll start looking there. I doubt we'll find, you know, all the Pokemon there are to find over there, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start in this episode, and then at the next episode, like I said, before I record, I'll do some more honey trees, and then we'll continue searching, so. Yeah, not bad, Gyarados, though. Not bad at all. We got Gyarados, Agron, yeah. It's a good Pokemon. Okay. Let's take a look over here. Phew, ooh, there's an item up there I wanted. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. 
Clefa? I'm not even remotely interested in Clefa, so I think we'll just kill it, you know. Oh, you are the worst kind of person. Uh, well, I mean, I guess Clefairy and Jigglypuff are known for seeing, but that's... That is unnecessary, Clefa. You didn't have to do that, you know. Now I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna use my fire on your charm. Yeah. I guess that is the only benefit of, like, raising a Clefa into Clefairy. You do get access to some baby moves like charm. Which charm's pretty good. Sharply lowers attack, but, uh... All right, Dark Lotion. Bad girl, okay. Once Dark Lotion gets to 16, I guess I'll switch someone else out here. <laughs> My man, I almost don't want to switch Dark Lotion out. Like all the lucky burn tubing in her. Ah, Ball Toy, okay. Now, normally you encounter... Oh, what in the world? Oh, download, okay. <laughs> oh man, just downloaded the update for, uh, yeah, Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> ah, it doesn't... That's not very effective, huh? Well, that's okay. I'm trying to catch you anyway, so... Yeah, normally by the time you encounter this in the desert... Uh... Psybeam. Oh, yeah, I'm Dark-type, bro. But, uh, normally by the time you encounter this in the desert in, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald... Normally you do have, uh, Great Balls by that point. Uh, because you get it, you know, after Flannery Shield. So, I'm not sure we can catch this thing, but, uh... We'll give it a try. It's in the red. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think we'd catch Aggron either, but, uh, here we are. Uh, whoops, uh, Flop of Flop, get in there. Alright, hang in there, Flop of Flop. Yeah, that side beam's gonna hurt, though. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we'll yawn and get out of here. Oh, yeah, thank God, uh, I'm flying tight. Alright, and we'll stay in. Okay, yeah, hard. That's fine, bro. That's fine. And we'll go with the Pokeball. Alright, if we can't catch this thing, you know, I'm not too upset about it. So. Alright, Pokeball, go. Alright. And one, two, three. Nice, nice. Yeah, man, a lot of these captures have only used one Pokeball today. That's pretty lucky. Anyway, oh, water, Altoid, the clay doll Pokemon. It moves by spinning on its foot. It is a rare Pokemon that was discovered in ancient ruins. All right, and we're gonna name this thing the same thing I name every Beyblade in uh, Hitmontop I catch. Uh, I mean, because can you not name it? All right, we're gonna name it Beyblade. Let it rip. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I mean, how could I not? It's a spinning top, guys. And so is Hitmontop for that matter, so. Uh, another one? Okay, well, we know now that it's water type, so best to go for quick attack. Uh, yeah, download is interesting. And I guess if we see one that, uh, oh, why'd we miss? Oh, wait, we have hustle. Right, right, right. Well, and I guess, um, if we see one that doesn't use download right away, we know it has a different ability, so I'll use Paris to scout it out, to use Trace, just so we see what it is. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good idea. I'll try to keep that in mind in future episodes. But if I forget, you know, no big deal, guys, no big deal. We're just having fun catching Pokemon. Oh man, Hustle. Hustle is screwing us, but, you know, thankfully we're Dark type, so, you know, this thing really can't do anything to us with Psybeam. I imagine it has another attack, though. Didn't it try to use Mudslap? Yeah, it did, didn't it? On, uh. Why is it didn't using Mudslap? I don't know, but. Whatever. I mean, can, can you really, you know. Dark po I mean, wild Pokemon have, like, no, you know, rhyme or rhythm. Ooh, plus three, plus twos. Nice, nice. To their attacks, it seems. So, uh, anyway. I think we've only got, like, a couple minutes left in this episode. Uh, and I know I said I'd switch, but we'll just keep... Oh, Whirlpool! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, we'll just go with Quick Attack. Uh, does, oh, it's a spooky Whirlpool! Oh, man. Well, I think uh, Ember would probably kill it, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just switch to, it's level 10. Uh, JJ, what moves you got? Leech Life, I guess. Get in there, JJ. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Early Bird, okay. All right, and I am Dragon type. Uh, let's go with Leech Life. Oh man, this thing's shooting string. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, this 
this thing should be a pretty easy catch. I'm not even gonna get into the red, because, nor you know, normally it's such an early game bug Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, let's try to poison this thing. Uh, oops. Uh, no, I don't want to switch or anything. Uh, let's try, yeah, poison powder. Yeah. And really, after I get it, I think after this poison, I will just go ahead and try a Pokeball. Because, you mean, I mean, guys, it's just Wormble, you know. We'll probably... Probably catch it, you know. Okay, it's uh, okay, ball. And I guess to end the episode, we'll go back and check out uh, Warpool as well as uh, Beyblade. Uh, all right, that's nice. All right, all right, let's see what type Warpool is. Warmpool, the Warm Pokemon, often targeted by bird Pokemon, it desperately resists by releasing poison from its tail spikes. Ah, okay. And this is normally uh, Clay Dolls type, right? Ghost Brown. Um, so we're gonna call you. Uh, actually, it may not be Clay Dolls type. But either all, I'm gonna not name you uh, Clay. Clay Pool. Clay Pool. Oops. Clay Pool. Yeah. <laughs> nice spelling, jo Josh. <laughs> all right. So yeah. Yeah, we are at about 30 minutes. So we're just gonna head back, heal up, check out the Pokemon we got. And that'll be the end of the episode, guys. Alright. Alright. So here we go. Let's go ahead and heal. Alright. Pretty good uh, catching safari, though, this episode, I must say. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the ha, Bitter Half Burn Hill episode. Brought to you by Typhlosion. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, no items. Okay. Let's check. Beyblade. Water. Timid. Uh, that boosts speed. Lowers physical attack? It, right. Okay. Uh, not bad. I mean, uh, yeah, and Psybeam. What's a special attack at? Only 14? Yeah, normally, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, Clay Doll line's more defensive, but, yeah, and we saw this thing has early bird, and its type is Ghost Grand, so, uh, 